Hey guys, I just ate a grapefruit. <laughs> and I all of a sudden felt like I had something in my teeth. Anyway, I am jumping on. I shared this on my main page, so if you already watched it, it's going to be the same points. But I wanted to make sure that you guys see this because the way Facebook works, I, sorry, I need to make sure I turn off my notifications. Um, I know that you don't always see things on my main page, and I especially want to make sure that you guys hear this today about managing stress and anxiety. And on one hand, like as soon as I went to jump on Facebook Live, I thought, who am I to talk, you know, to this? And and there's so many different perspectives and, and all that kind of stuff. But um, that's the stinking thinking, right? That is the enemy trying to get us to not show up, to not be the light, to get discouraged. And if there is there anyone that I want to speak to and make sure you hear is you guys in this group because we are all sisters in Christ. And I know that, hey, Patty, if you're watching live, I love when you guys either comment or type live so that I know that you're with me. And then also, if you're watching it later on replay and it was helpful, I love to know that too so that I can, I know what you guys are liking and not like what's not useful for you, all that kind of stuff. Because I truly want to, like I, I just, uh, it has been um, an ever present reminder lately. I'm not sure if that wording is right in terms of really asking questions and listening to figure out what you guys need most in all things faith and fitness um, and providing resources and of course coaching programs and all that kind of stuff too. But whether you're a part of that or not, this group is always going to you know stay open. Um, but managing anxiety and stress, there are a few points that I want to remind you of today. And the first is protect your headspace. And the protecting your headspace, I'm going to try and keep this high level today because I've talked on many of these points in detail before. And repetition and reminders are always good, but I do want to try and get to all five while keeping it as precise as possible. Protecting your headspace means that you are doing the best you can to protect your headspace with whatever works best for you. And there's two different personality types. So if you, like one of my really good friends, sorry, I'm slightly distracted because I have dog duty right now. One of my really good friends is really good at detaching from a situation, like in a good way. She can look at facts, figures, circumstances, and take it all in and then process it and like she is my person to like disseminate information for me a lot of the time because she's in my inner circle she gets me she can look at those things and know like what I need to be informed on and all that kind of stuff not that I don't know things directly and all that kind of stuff but like for example today what's happening to go on like if I were to try and like look through everything to figure out all the detail, I, my headspace, my anxiety would go. Whereas she can look through it all and figure out like this is where we're at and blah, 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 and whatever. Um, so if you're somebody that is, doesn't, you know, has um, a heart that is naturally bent towards more logic and reason, right? We all the equally, like nothing is more important than the other, right? It's just knowing who you are, knowing your personality. And I know that, what for me personally, I can get over, like I'm very, I feel things, like I feel them in a very deep way. So I have to be mindful of that's my go-to, that's kind of my default, because reality is that is definitely something that can be in a massive blessing. It is also something that can be used against me when it's something that I don't have any control over, right? And the same goes with you. So protecting your headspace in whether it's today or any other day, right? We don't need to be, if you're somebody that's emotionally driven, we don't need to be on social media all the time. We don't need to be scrolling. We don't need to be watching the news and watching all of the, like the sky is falling, the world is ending, all those things, right? We don't need to allow ourselves to get sucked into that. We don't need to, we need to find whatever balance is right for you between being informed and getting sucked in. And I will tell you, I have learned a new level of I am more directly informed over the last several months than I ever have been. And I feel like it's just the season for me to know that and to step up and and learn a way to manage best, but best of both worlds. But protecting your headspace means don't watch three hours of news today. Like I, I don't know that there's any good that's going to come out of that, right? Get the information, be informed, but do not get sucked in. It's not your story, Right. And the reason I say that is, yes, it influences us. Yes, it impacts us. 
But it goes back to we cannot be of our greatest good. We can't show up in our greatest capacity. We're each created on purpose for a unique and greater purpose. And that is not just like over our lifetime. It does impact over our lifetime. We should be being intentional so that we can leave legacies of impact for whatever we're called to do. However, it breaks down to how we live that out on a day-to-day basis. So you can't get back the last four hours. So if you've already been spent scrolling for the last four hours, like let it go, can't do anything about that, but you can get intentional with what you do about the next four hours. So protect your headspace in terms of what you're watching, what you're listening to, the social media outlets, all of the things, even the people that you talk to when it comes to protecting your headspace. Um, the second thing is when you feel the emotion come up, check the validity, validity of your emotion, right? One of the verses in the Bible talks about, you know, be mindful of your heart for out of it flows all the issues of life. I know that's not exact, but you get my point is that emotion again is a very powerful thing. It's a gift. It can also be used against us. Emotion, when it's coming from a negative perspective, a stress or an anxiety, worry, all that kind of stuff, you can't worry and simultaneously be in faith at the same time. You can't, right? Anything that is of a negative emotion, sadness, uh, fear, all those things, they don't, they can be used, but I want to, it, there's a time and a place to use negativity to drive you forward. But for the most part, when we sit in it and we allow it to sit around us, it does not move us forward. It's more times than not, it's not going to project us forward. It doesn't do us any good. Uh, the statistic, not even from a faith perspective, is that like 99 point something of what we stress and worry about never even happens. We're either stressed and worried about things that have already happened that we have no control over, or we're stressed and worried about things that have not yet happened yet, and we don't even know if that will be the end result. Not, most of the time, it doesn't end up the way we like our worst fear is or what have you. So checking for the emotion... I have a dog that's out of control right now. Checking for the emotion and asking yourself, is it true? Like, is the emotion I'm feeling actually true? Is the, um, is it, does it even matter, right? Does it really matter in the big picture? So for example, um, go, moving away from today and just generally speaking, you're you know, kind of at odds in a personal relationship maybe and you think that they think one thing about you or that you know, they're, what they said is, is this, that, or the other, right? Whatever the case may be. Is it actually true or are you putting thought bubbles over their head, right? If it's not somebody that's close to you, does it even matter what their opinion is or what the comment was or how they acted or how they behaved? Does it really matter in the big picture, right? Be mindful of your emotions and make sure that you are managing your emotions and your emotions aren't managing you and your actions. The next one is being present and being intentional. Hopefully, you have some sort of routine in the morning where you decide what you're going to do that day and you're intentional about your day. Again, that could be an entirely its own topic, but getting intentional about your day. So whatever you planned on doing today, then make sure that you still do that. Be intentional. Give yourself grace if you really need it. Give yourself time if you really need it, but be intentional. Make sure that you're making decisions, not reacting to an emotion or circumstance. The next one is to let it go. Hopefully you did your part and you did your, your vote, but even if you didn't at this point, it doesn't matter. But so now it's time to let it go, right? Like we do our part, we show up, we do what we can control, and then we hand over the rest. We pray in the morning, we get direction, we get guidance throughout the day, we do what we think is the best thing in that moment, in that circumstance, based on what we led, based on how we're feeling led, based on all the facts and circumstances that we have the time. We do our best, we take the best action that we know of in that moment, and then we need to let it go, right? And then the last but not least is planning to connect. Like if you are feeling up here, stressed out and anxious, build in some time to connect. And that can look differently. That can be connecting with yourself. Go get in a shower. It doesn't matter. Four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. If you're feeling up here, go take a shower. It is so like therapeutic to take a shower and just 
kind of wash everything away and just try and get still and focus in, in all the things, right? Go outside. Right now it's kind of hot, but like out in the sun, even if it's for five or 10 minutes, feel the air, feel beyond your current little tiny, tiny in the big picture, tiny environment, right? Connect with a friend, you know, reach out, see if you can spend time with them today or a significant other, whatever the case may be, do the connection if you, if that would be helpful for you. Sorry. All right. So I think that's it. <laughs> Sorry, dog chaos today. All right. I think that's it, guys, but I hope that helps. So find the right balance for you. Protect your headspace. Check with your emotion. Is it valid? Is it true? And does it even matter? Be present and be intentional, right? We don't get today back. We don't get, you, there's no point spinning over whatever happened in the last hour even, but you can control what you choose to intend and focus on in the next hour in front of us, right? And be in prayer, all things in prayer. Be anxious for nothing but through prayer and, th prayer and thanksgiving. Let your requests be known, by, known to God and he will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding, right? Listen and you will hear a small still voice behind you and it will tell you this is the way walk in it, right? God sees you, God loves you, God is in control. He is for you. That does not change regardless of the crazy that might be going around us, all right? Our God is the same as he was yesterday, as he is today, and as he will be. All right, love you guys, bye. Oh, really quickly, before I go, I am working on some free resources. I really need to make sure that you guys get on um, my email list. I promise I'm not sending a boatload of emails. However, uh, Facebook, I've heard more and more stories where if the wrong thing is mentioned, they are turning it off. So I need to make sure that we are connected and that I can continue to support you. So I need to make sure that you're on my email list. And I'm e emailing about once or twice a week right now. All right. Love you guys. Bye. And of course, the podcast, if you haven't checked that out. And I've got a resource coming up for you about how to get more movement in during the day, even when you're crazy busy, even if you feel like you don't have time to work out right now. All right. Love you. Bye.